He is for Edgefield. Edgefield pottery was made using the first Chinese type glaze in all North America. But Edgefield pottery is known internationally. Mainly pottery that was done here for home use in the 19th century is something that's become really uh, one of the hottest collectibles in the South. The potters had to be brick makers as well as people that could turn their ware. I'm making here what's called a storage jar that would be used for meat and lard. Pots made here were delivered up to 150 miles away. In 1850, we had five potteries that produced over 100,000 gallons of pottery. In the old days, it was sold for about 10 cents a gallon. Today, it commands a price well over $1,000 a gallon. And this is a jug we believe that was made by Dave Drake, who is our most famous slave potter. Born right around 1800, Dave was in his late 20s about the time this jug was made here. And over the life of a potter, working with cold clay gives you arthritic knuckles. And this is Dave really at the height of his skill, where he knew how to center and his body could follow what his mind desired to do. On the narrow mouth vessel uh, there, the marks we see, the backward C is what I call Dave's shorthand. The two dots here are the gallon marks on the vessel. But a small percentage had faces created using both stoneware and kaolin. And this shows the use of kaolin for the eyes and teeth. I was attracted to Edgefield pottery because it was an art form that had an enduring beauty to it. It was something that had passed the test of time really as a tool and today is on the pedestals of our museums.